Hi, I'm going to do an HXD walkthrough. We're going to start off at the download site for HXD. We're going to click download now. Once we're done, we're going to have an EXE file. You're going to right click open or double click it. You may get a user control option that's going to black out your screen. You're just going to select yes or no. If you select no, the download will not continue. If you select yes, you're going to get a select setup language. You're going to hit OK. And we're going to continue on through the setup wizard. So we're next. We're going to accept the agreement. Next. Select where you would like the output to be, the file to, to go. I'm going to leave it mine in programs file. We're going to hit next. You have additional options for shortcuts. It's up to you which ones you'd like to select. We're going to hit next. And then we're going to install. I don't need the readme text. However, you may want to download that as well or have that automatically pop up. I'm just going to do the launch the HXD editor. Once we have that file, we're going to do file open. And then I'm going to navigate to my MVIMG file, and then you can select whatever type of file you would like to work with. So here on the left hand side, we have the offset. Over here, we have the byte data. You may notice if you select on a location down here, you're going to see the offset. And if we want to select a certain offset or a block of the offset, if you highlight where you want to end, it'll show up here and here. So if we want to change it to just zero because we want to select this block here, we're going to hit OK. And now we have a block selected. You can right click, you can cut, copy, paste, delete, whatever you'd like to do. So I'm going to show you this option if we want to copy. You can create a new file and just paste it in there. If we want to come back here and say we don't want this part of it, then we're going to hit delete and it's going to delete out that entire block. And then over here, if you do file save as, you can save just this data and then the same here, file save as, just this data, and you can name it whatever you'd like. Thank you for watching.